This video and what happened two days later keeps casting a shadow over Gabe Taye's loved ones and Carson School in West Price Hill. The video from early 2017 shows Gabe fall to the floor of a bathroom at the school. He lay unconscious for seven minutes. Gabe's parents say another student knocked him to the ground. Cincinnati Public School officials claim he fainted. Around 48 hours after that incident, eight-year-old Gabe Taye took his own life. His family sued CPS, arguing Gabe was the victim of repeated violence at Carson School and that the school's former principal and former assistant principal did little to stop it. The school district tried to get the case dismissed and I think they failed. Today, Jennifer Branch asked three judges on the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals to let a wrongful death claim against the former school leaders continue. They saw that this was a violent, dangerous school and we have alleged enough facts that the school principal and assistant principal should go to trial. Cameras are not allowed in federal court in Cincinnati, but I obtained an audio recording of today's hearing. They did not act recklessly uh, under the state's immunity statute. That's the voice of Aaron Herzig, an attorney for CPS. There is not bullying. That statement drew a sharp response from Judge Jane Branstetter Stranch. I don't understand how you can argue that there are not claims in this complaint of bullying. His, he was hit in the mouth, he had to have his two front teeth removed, um, he, there were a number of other fights. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.